Look at this map from 1933 on the, this is the 1933 hurricane season on the left. You see all these tracks here clustered in the Gulf, the Caribbean, and along the Atlantic seaboard. On the right is the 2020 hurricane season. You see a similar pattern here, but you see a lot more out to sea. So it's likely, and this is obviously noted in his, I would say 2020, we weren't in 2020 when the study came out, you know, 14, you know, 14 years ago, 15 years ago, rather, I guess. But um, when you look at this, when you look at the data and study, it makes the same point here that that's why it has to be adjusted. And that's what they did in that, in this brand new study is that they adjusted to account for that. And if you actually look at the previous chart, it shows that 1933 was actually kind of right up neck and neck, you know, if adjusted for mm -hmm. accounts on um, 1933 had 20 storms, 2020, or 1933 had 20 storms, 2020 had 30, which was a record number. But it's if you adjust for the fact that there was no storms or no satellites rather, uh, during that time, it's 1933 is pretty much neck and neck with some of the, like 2004 and 2005 and 2020. So that's what the authors noted in this, and that's what the authors noted in that graph. Um, and also another thing about 1933 is that the accumulated cyclone energy index test that, that season was a far lot greater than 2020. So it packed a lot more punch. 2020, most of the storms were just weak, sloppy, short-lived systems that didn't generate much ACE. 